business, the Senate on Tuesday concluded Nigeria's past sector reform and privatization of 2005 was fraudulent. The president of the Senate, Senator Ahmad Lawan, at a one-day roundtable discussion on addressing Nigeria's power problems in Abuja, said there is a need for the federal government to declare a state of emergency in the sector. Senator Lawan noted the reforms have not improved the fortunes of the sector and urged the federal government to declare a state of emergency. We are still talking about 4,000 megawatts. We say we have a maximum capacity of 12,000, we can't take more than 5,000. I don't understand this. Other countries, what in Africa, are talking of so much global and in some cases, even Ghana, they say it's three times better than what we are doing. We are yet the largest economy in Africa. For how long can we sustain that position? I believe that uh, we have to declare a set of emergency on power and courageous decisions must be taken by government. I keep emphasizing revisiting the privatization because apparently there are flaws and that we have to address. Whether it is at the expense of government or whatever it is, we have to get out of this work now. Otherwise, we'll continue to be complaining and talking about these things until maybe even the 4,000 megawatts that we uh, enjoy would become a challenge to us. Most institutions of government saddled with the responsibility of managing the power sector lack the capability stroke capacity to function effectively. All the institutions of government in the power sector perform core functions that involve one form of oversight or the other. Monitoring and evaluating is a core oversight activity and usually involves the development of performance indicators that drive the process. Sadly, Mr. President, the reality is that most of these institutions do not have any discernible framework for monitoring and evaluation.